Chris Pickering. I'm uh, here at Niagara Falls, just south of Kingsbridge Park. My name is Steve Fleck. I am the voice of the Multisport Canada Triathlon Series, and we are in beautiful Niagara Falls, Ontario. Hi there, my name is Tommy Ferris. I am head coach of Ignition Fitness, and I'm very proud to say that Ignition Fitness is on board as the official coaching and training partner of the Niagara Falls Barrowman Triathlon. You know, Barrowman is going to be an unbelievable race experience. We've got our uh, swim in Wellen, and we know that that is going to be a tremendous swim course because it's in the recreational waterway. Well, it's very fast swimming in there. It's flat, totally protected from the wind. The Welland Canal is calm and clean, and there's never any water temperature issues. Athletes will then come out of the swim, they'll jump into transition, which is also right there, and it'll be a quick, easy exit out onto the bike course. First it heads down towards Lake Erie, and then it turns around and it comes all the way back. They'll actually, at one point, travel underneath the Welland Canal, so there's a pretty neat little spot where you, you go under the Welland Canal in a, in a tunnel. The bike course is flat and it's fast, and if you're having a strong day out there, there is some serious potential to lay down one of your fastest bike splits this distance. The last seven or eight K are going to be quite picturesque as, as you'll be on the Niagara Parkway, so you'll have the Niagara River right on your right hand side and it's absolutely beautiful. And then you have transition two in Kingsridge Park and that's where the run course starts. That's a beautiful setting. Family and friends will be able to hang out there for the entire day. Then athletes will head out onto a two lap 21K half marathon distance run. You're going to uh, have one of the most beautiful and scenic run courses probably in Canada. It's two beautiful loops of Niagara Falls. You get to see all that Niagara Falls has to offer on each loop. So I think that there's a popular misconception that this run course is very flat and it's going to be very easy and I think athletes who come into this race thinking that are going to be fooled. There are a couple of very significant and very steep and, and long climbs and there's also a lot of uh, steady uh, gradual uphill climbs. So it should be a reasonably fast uh, 13.1 or 21 kilometers that the athletes are going to run. So you'll be going through the uh, city of Niagara Falls which should be a whole lot of fun because there'll be a lot of spectators along there. And then the most scenic part of the course, or the second most scenic part of the course, I should say, and that is the top of Murray Hill where athletes will get their first glimpse of the, both the American and Canadian Falls. You run down Murray Hill right towards the falls. You run right past the brink of the falls twice. If it's a really hot summer day, you get that cooling mist off the falls. The finish line again is in Kingsbridge Park and there's gonna be a nice long finish shoot. And athletes will have that international feel to the finish. It'll be a great spot for uh, friends and family to congregate to watch the finishers. Uh, there'll be a beer garden right beside the finish area as well as our expo. As a runner, I know that during that, that run you can hit some mental obstacles, it can get really tough, and sometimes having some things to look at and uh, some distractions go a very long way. And I mean, I couldn't think of a place where you could have a nicer race with more things to look at. It's going to be a great event for not just the athletes, but spectators as well. So you've obviously got the falls themselves to look at with the nice walking paths that go all the way around all the parks. It's a great place to have a race for family and friends to come. Niagara Falls has no shortage of places to stay. It has no shortages of activities. One of the other beautiful things about race day is going to be the ease at which Friends and family can get around Niagara Falls. There's a fantastic system, it's called the WeGo bus system. It's a hop on, hop off system, so you may not have to deal with the logistics of getting to and from places on race day. And you can have certain key times where your family member, whoever it is that's racing, you can go and catch them on the course, then you can go back to do what you were doing before. So when you add all those things up, you have a great course for the athletes, you have an amazing venue for your family and your friends and all the spectators. You put all those things together and it just makes the race day experience so much more enjoyable. This is going to be one of the most iconic triathlons to ever take place in Ontario.